Hey YouTube, Matt here, Maple Mountain Fireplace. Today we're gonna to show you how to install an outdoor gas fire pit. So some of the components that we're going to need obviously are the burner. This is an 18 inch penta burner. It's designed to give you a really nice high flame. We've got your Dante valve, an extended key. This is for going through the really thick block. Um, we also have some reflective fire glass. This comes in six colors. We've got some blues, clear, black, bronze, or copper. These are basically all the components that you can't buy at your local hardware store or Home Depot. Um, the one thing you can purchase from Home Depot or your local hardware store are all the little gas fittings, the elbows, and different lengths of pipe because every installation is going to be a little bit different. So all those components are readily available, half inch, three quarter, depends on what size you're using. All right, so this burner, the 18 inch Penta burner, it doesn't have a half inch connection. Now, if you're using three quarter, you wanna run everything three quarter right up to the burner and then just reduce it down to half inch. That's actually the best way to do it. That's gonna give you the most volume of gas behind the burner and will give you the highest flame and best performance. All right, so you're also going to need your underground risers, the pipe, all that stuff we can do. We don't dig the trench. We will put in a layer of sand and that detector wire, all that's very important. If you wanna hire another contractor or if you think you can do it yourself, make sure you leak test it and use the detector. I mean, it's, it's really important to have someone with experience and a certification. We are gas certified. All right, so step one, we are digging a trench to lay the gas pipe underground. It needs to be two feet deep and maybe even up to 30 inches. And you don't have to follow a straight line. You can curve around any structure. The pipe is fairly flexible. Now, we've got three quarter inch pipe. We are honing out the inside with our special tool. We're gonna put a little bit of lube and these fittings just slide right together. So this is the riser. It is a metal piece that fits together. It's threaded to three quarter pipe. So you can see we just lay all that pipe down inside from one end to the other. Now what we're gonna do here is just lay the riser next to where we wanna be, give it a mark, and we'll cut that and we'll do the same process with honing out the inside with our special tool and lube it and slide it together. All right, so next we're just gonna hook up a temporary line and this is just a gas flex that we're going to temporarily hook up and cap off the other end. We're going to do a pressure test and a leak test. All right, so we're just spraying it. I think we've got some Windex and we're just checking for any bubbles. We had no leaks and now we are going to actually hook it up with hard pipe. So all of these black fittings can be found at a local hardware store, your nipple your elbows. This here is a union that allows you to connect a pipe in the middle and you want to use plenty of pipe dope to seal it and get them nice and tight. If you're not gas certified in the state of Utah, you cannot legally do this work for money. The underground fittings and the risers, you do have to have at least a contractor's license for a supply house to sell you this product. So again, if if you have any uncertainty at all, please get professional help. Okay, one more leak test. We've got our little sniffer to see if there are any leaks. 
One more important thing before you bury it, we've got our detector wire. This will allow you to check to see where the, the gas line actually is. And we are also adding some sand before we throw in the regular dirt. So the sand will help to protect the gas line as well. So next we're just going to stack the first layer of blocks in a nice little circle and you can see we have the riser off center. So you don't want the riser too close to the edge but you absolutely don't want it in the center. So once you've got it in the place where you want, we're going to glue these blocks together using liquid nails. The second row, third row will be staggered. So I'm just putting one bead down the joint and just stacking them and staggering them as we go. And you can build it as tall as you want. So now we're adding a few more fittings, another elbow, and we're gonna put on our Dante valve. So this is the key valve that allows you to turn the fire pit on. So getting all the fittings in place, your nipples and elbows, and you want the valve pointed in the right direction. Now you wanna, after the valve, bring the gas out to the center of the fire pit. So again, all the nipples and couplers and elbows, the black pipe fittings you can get at any hardware store. So notice the direction on the Dante valve. That's the direction the gas is flowing. Make sure it's centered inside the block. We primer everything so it doesn't rust. We add a little extension nipple for the end cap. So we cut the block to allow for the pipe extension on the key valve to fit nice and snug. So the last step with the gas line is to add the burner. And you want the burner to sit just below the top of the block. Now we're gonna fill in the space with lava rock around the burner. So we wanna get the lava rock right up to the bottom of the burner. And now we're going to add our reflective fire glass. We wanna completely cover the burner and you could go up to three inches thick, but for cost sake, we're gonna cover about an inch. So this is six 10 pound buckets and that is about a 32 inch round fire pit on the inside. You may want to use gloves because it is glass. It will cut you. And now for the test, we just turn the key and light the fire pit. Make sure your eyebrows are out of the way and you're good to go. Hey, that's it. Thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, put it in the comments. Otherwise, be safe.